Okay, so we've got all the wheels and tyres back on this now. I've got about 24 psi in the tyres. Uh, you know, your hubcaps or your uh, wheel nuts back on. It's running really nicely. Um, we've also just put the radiator back on, finally. But for good, sorry. I had a few leaks in it, so we got them repaired. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got the bottom hose back on here, all the fittings for the lights. The only thing we're going to do is fix them in like that somehow, because they just run up off the inside there with that stuff, I think. Um, yeah, so we've got the bolts through the front, we've just got to put a bit of touch-up paint on them, because they chipped a bit. But yeah, it's running really good. Just got a few bits of carpet and rags in there for our seat. No dash, that's all our wires, just um, held up with the zip tie. Same with the back here. And of course we've got the new exhaust fitted on there too, so... Yeah, I might as well start it up. Petrol on. Got it retarded. There you go. Really simple to start. Just gonna take the handle out, otherwise it'll fall off. Pull out. So yeah, as you can see, it goes around quite well. I've got the engine running really nicely now too, so... Just got to do a final valve adjustment, it's still a bit, a bit tappy, a bit rattly. Oh, uh, you can see, it doesn't even get warm. It's really handy having the oil uh, level down there too, you can easily check. Oh, it's running really nice. Obviously we've got half the body taken off at the moment, because that back part just got up and trestles in the shed repairing that. And you'll see the valves a bit out of adjustment, you can hear the hear it chuffing a bit. Yeah. But now it's just running really good. Really happy with it. <laughs> and to stop it all we gotta do, this is the lead that goes to the stop button in the um, dash. Just attach it to the air. And that's how we stop it. But yeah, so I thought I might just show you this. So we've been running for a good probably half hour by now. And it's not even hot. So that's operating temperature. I mean you can touch it and it's just it's warm. It'll burn you if you held your hand on there, but it's not not hot, so that's beautiful. I was just getting worried because we painted the honeycomb in paint. I was hoping that the paint wouldn't stop it from cooling down this much, if that makes sense, but yeah. Running really nice. All we've got to fix now is that damn chopping at the back, if you can hear that out of the exhaust. I think it's just the valves. We can make a few adjustments on the carby which sort of fixed it a bit. The only one that we don't know what, what it does. That makes sense. A little screw just in here. See it there? Don't know what that does. Um, it's the economizer here so it's got, you've got a jet squirting petrol up. A little pin that comes down on top of the jet and that just changes how much. Well, atomizes the petrol more basically. 
But yeah, you can see the priming taps there in better light that I was talking about one of our previous speeds. We don't have one in there, just a little um, brass bolt. Worst comes to worst, we can always put them in, that won't matter. But yeah, that's just running really good. The only other thing we've got to fix as well, we've got to repaint the petrol tank because it developed a leak. Um, so when we were soldering it up, you know, the solder ran down the top front of the tank. So we'll sand all that back and get that painted up again. But no, apart from that, running good. Of course, one day, hopefully this year, or next year, being 2012, we're going into Beta Berber with this, and hopefully this, if we can get it done in time. Got a lot of work to do to it, but it's getting there. It's getting there, so just shut it down. There it is. Ah. Yeah. There we go. And you just gotta turn the petrol off. You got that's on reserve there. That's on fully on, and that's off. What these have is a little pipe that sticks up inside the petrol tank about this far. So when you got it on normal like that once it gets to the pipe it'll run out and then you know you can just put it reserve so then you know you've only got a little bit left before you can get to a petrol station and fill it up which is quite handy so because it doesn't have a gauge that sort of acts as a, a petrol gauge in a way so when you run out when you're on full you know you got I don't know, maybe five or six litres left to get you to the nearest petrol station or if you've got someone to jerry can alongside you just do that but yeah anyway